The agency responsible for tracking and investigating hate crimes in the United States is the FBI. According to the Southern Poverty Law Center, a civil rights advocacy group, there was a spike in the number of hate-inspired incidents right after Donald Trump's election. In fact, the group said around 800 incidents were reported after the first week of his election. The definition of a U.S. federal hate crime changed back in 2009. Before that, crimes motivated by a victim's race, color, religion or national origin were on the list. Then the Obama administration expanded that to sexual orientation, gender, gender identity and disability. Every year, the FBI says that there are between five and 7,000 hate crimes in the United States. After a decline in 2014, there was a surge in 2015, with numbers rising 6%. Attacks against Muslims alone surged 67%. But the numbers may not tell the whole story. The FBI relies on local agencies for accurate reporting. They enter the information in a database. The FBI publishes the results. Here's the problem. According to an investigation by the Associated Press, one in five police departments haven't filed a hate crime report since at least 2009. Take, for example, the year 2010. The FBI put the total number of hate crimes at 6,600. But a different U.S. government agency, the Department of Justice, using victim surveys, counted a number that was 40 times higher than that of the FBI. So who do hate crimes impact the most? Well, according to figures from the FBI, in 2015, more than half were targeted because of their race, and blacks were targeted more than every other ethnicity combined. Next comes religion and then sexual orientation, with gay men by far the most targeted.